don't see that one. Well, we have a court court member that has okay. hearing aids. He can't hear she can't. Well, she's agreed to apply. I'll speak in the mic. You have two minutes to play. Okay. America all over is right now feeling the brunt and the taxes, whether you're looking at gun control, higher taxes, uh, illegal immigration, open borders. This is this is what's known as sustainable development. And I want to give you sites you can go to. This acronym, ICLEI, I C L E I, is extremely important for the board to look up because it stands for local count, uh, local initiative. Let's see, local council of <coughs> environmental initiative. And and this is exactly what's going on here. Patrick Hayes, mayor of North Little Rock, is the board president for the whole USA of ICLEI. And this is exactly what's being done here right now with this, regardless of it. Smart growth, quality of place, or whatever you want to term it, this is exactly what's going down here and why the people are so worried over the government. And we're losing the battle as the people. We're losing the battle locally, like right here in our form court and in our city council. And this, this what is being implemented here is a global political economic program referred to as sustainable development. And this is an integrated policy of philosophy. And sustainable development is an action plan being used across America and around the world to implement, it, to implement the United Nations Agenda 21 program. Uh, and I want to give a quote from Marie Strong that basically says, current lifestyles and consumption patterns of the affluent middle class involving meat intake, use of fossil fuels, appliances, home and work, air conditioning, and suburban housing are not sustainable. So this utopia that everybody keeps talking about here is not utopia. This is a danger to the public. In summary, sustainable development seeks a step-by-step -step abolition of private property. It's called smart growth. It seeks education of youth to prepare, to prepare them for global citizenship. And the third thing, control and ultimate reduction of the human population. And basically, equity means to this equity and to sustainable development, these UN programs, equity means to restructure human nature and to enforce that restructure by shifting our system of justice from one that adheres to the principles of equal justice and unalienable rights to one that implements the concept of social justice. So that's what we have here is social justice. And if you don't understand how sustainable development works, then that's a danger to the any any it's member that is sitting okay, any member that's sitting on the corn board. And I want to give you a, a website that you all can go to. It's called freedomadvocates.org. Freedomadvocates.org that you can get educated on this and see these oppressive policies that's going on all over the globe. And it basically shocked me when I sat in here tonight in my own county where my grandchildren live and see the same thing going down here. I'm absolutely about ready to pass out over these policies. Thank you. I, uh, is there someone who would like to speak for the? Yes, sir. Would you come up, state your name, and uh, then you'll have three minutes after you state your name to deliver your message. My name is Hal Wagner. I'm Pat, I'm a city councilman for 26 years. I uh, don't know what she's against, I don't know what she's for, and I don't really care. But I retired from the fire department, I retired from the police department, I retired from the fire department, I retired from I've been on city council for 26 years. I'm tired of going to Little Rock. And I'm tired of going to Hot Springs for boat shows, RV shows, rodeos, places where you can go and actually enjoy yourself and fight the traffic for an hour or two and a half hours to get there. Now, you know, I'm, I'm for this. I've been, I've been getting taxes for years, but I proved to myself the tax for last year. We passed the one cent sales tax in September. We have bought two new fire trucks and paid cash for them with our grants and our money and our taxes. We've got two new fire trucks on order that when they are delivered will be paid for with cash. I don't see how the county can legitimately would think to turn this project down with the money that it would generate for the entire county. We've had a jail situation for years. We 
didn't have enough room for jail. Nobody wanted to spend any money for the jail. We finally got the jail up standard. We finally got it where it's at now, so it needs to be added on to too. This is all we'll grow, people. It's grow. Swain County's going to grow, and the only way it's going to grow is if we build something here for glory. People are tired of going to Little Rock. People are tired of going to Hot Springs. People from Arkansas have to go to Hot Springs to take their boats to the boat shop. That was talking to People from Texas County companies to go to Little Rock, Hot Springs for boat shows, RV shows, camper shows, gun shows, knife shows, dog shows, sports shows. I'm not a horseback rider. I ride four wheels. <laughs> but I've got sons that ride horses. I've got uncles that own horses. I've got cousins that own show. horses. They come out here, they deliver their horses to the arena. They rent the stall, they put their horses in it, and they take their trucks and trailers home because there's no room to park them. You know, that's ridiculous. That you haven't got an area big enough to, for the people of Slane County to park their vehicles when they come to an organization. I'm out of time, thank you.